Hello, it's Rosie here from Just Chill Baby Sleep. Today I'm talking all about the cot to bed transition. I'm often asked, when should you move your little one into a bed, how to do it and what to look out for. So let's start from the top. Reasons you might move your little one out of their cot and into a bed. First and foremost, we need to think about safety. If your little one has learned how to climb out of their cot, it's probably time to move them out. I do prefer to leave them in their cots as long as possible, but once it's a safety risk, it's time to move them. A sleeping bag can help, and those who may have learned to unzip them, you can try a little trick of mine, which is to turn them back to front. Might just give you a little bit more time. If your little one is otherwise happy, I'd leave them in their cot until they're too big for it. There's really no rush to move them into a bed. Also, if you're hoping it's going to improve sleep, I would hold off, work on sleep first with them in their cot and move them later. Their newfound freedom can really throw a spanner in the works for some. Moving them into a bed can cause your toddler to test boundaries, so it's really good to do it at an age where you can explain the process to them, what's going on and what's expected of them. I don't advise moving them to a bed before two years of age at the earliest, unless you have safety concerns for climbing, of course. Ideally, we hold out longer and as long as your little one is comfortable in their cot. For some, they can happily stay there until they're three years old. The older they are when they move into a bed, the smoother the transition can be. They have a greater understanding of the change that's happening and they're more likely to stay in their bed when it's sleep time than younger children with less impulse control. Some people want to move them as they need the cot for a new baby. I would think really carefully about this. Is it really essential and does the baby need the cot right now? Too much change at once can be disruptive. Let them get used to the idea of the new baby first. I would probably do it a couple of months before baby arrives or a few months afterwards once they've got used to a new family dynamic. So how to do it? First of all, keep everything as samey as possible. Same bedtime routine, even the same position for the bed as the cot was in before. Give them their usual comforter or teddy. Secondly, secure the room. Make sure anything that's a potential hazard has been moved. So choking hazards like roller blinds, etc. If there's any medicines they could reach or anything dangerous. It might be time to think about a stair gate if you don't already have one. It doesn't necessarily have to be on their door, perhaps the top of the stairs or in a position so that they can't access the bathroom perhaps. Thirdly, bedding. So duvets. You can introduce these in advance so that their bedding is familiar. I also like to encourage them to pull it up over themselves as when they're not used to duvets, they're likely to kick it off. Um, so have a think about that in advance. Lastly, bedtime boundaries. So if your little one is used to falling asleep independently, that's great and try and stick to your normal bedtime routine and your boundaries. If they get out of bed, then stay, stay super calm, consistent in your approach. Return them to bed with minimal fuss, say goodnight. Of course, if you usually sit with your child, keep doing that. However, if it feels like it's turning into a bit of a game, I'd consider thinking about a sleep strategy to work on this. Bear in mind that their new bed might be higher or feel very open compared to their cot, so you might want to consider using a foam wedge or a bed guard to stop them rolling out. You can see these on my Amazon shop. You can choose not to use a barrier and simply ensure that the floor around the bed is clear and safe. You can even pile cushions around the bed if you're worried that they might fall out. The key to a smooth transition is staying cool, calm and consistent. If you're interested in finding out more, please do visit our website over at justchillbabysleep.co.uk where you can check out our online courses and one-to-one -one packages to help you get your sleep back on track. I hope that was really helpful. See you soon. Bye.